What you're about to hear is my attempt at using a delay pedal that's exactly the opposite to what I would usually use. This is the Project Diana from VS Audio. This is handmade in Greece and allows you to either recall up to six different presets or you can use it completely in live mode like a conventional pedal. I'll talk more about the specifics about this in just a moment, but just know this is very dissimilar to what I'm used to using. So thought I'd have a little bit of fun and write a new track. Just to let you know, VS Audio have sent this out for the review. I didn't buy it, nor are they paying me to make this video. All the thoughts about this will be my own. I'll give you my thoughts about it at the end of this video. Here we go. Here's a pedal up close. Now this is 100% analog BBD technology. So Bucket Brigade Tech. We get up to 550 milliseconds of delay with modulation thanks to this chorus control over here. Now we also get a tap tempo button as well which can be used if you so choose to use it or you can just set up the rate in which it repeats by using this delay control over here. Now we also get six favorite presets that can be stored and they're all color coded thanks to the LED light on the front. It also runs in parallel mode relay switching and it's true bypass. It's also stereo out. So if you wanna run it in true stereo, go ahead. Now, one thing to take note of with this particular pedal, it runs on 18 volts and 300 milliamps, I'm pretty sure, something like that. So you do need to have an 18 volt DC power supply to get this to work. It won't work on nine volts. All right, let's kick it off today. I'm plugged into my Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier. I've got the Project Diana just going straight into the front end on the clean channel. This is my clean tone on bridge and middle pickups combined. Here we go. <laughs> Along, we're going to go through the preset modes. This is on the green channel. You can, of course, save your own presets, but I just wanted to show you a good selection of tones thanks to the ones that are already built in. Here we go. <laughs>
Beautiful. And now over to the red preset, and this particular one, just straight out of the box, has a lot more of the chorus sound. So irrespective of where the dials are, it will still sound like the preset. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, so chorus sort of gives it that detuned kind of vibe, but that's just how it works. My guitar is actually in tune. And now over to the purple preset, which is one of my favorites, and the chorus on this one isn't quite as prominent as the last one. Here we go. And now over to the green preset, this one has a whole lot of repeats and it's set quite wet in terms of its mix as well. Let's give this one a shot. Yeah. This last preset has a slap delay, so it's nice and quick, but it also focuses heavily on the chorus. Let's take a listen. That's almost rem reminiscent of the rockabilly thing, but in this case, it's got the chorus on it. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Now to go from either live mode or to your favorite preset mode, all you need to do is hold down the tap tempo button and the tap tempo button can be used in live mode to set the tempo of the repeats or you can use the tangible dial. So either way, it's good to go. Now I've set this up going into the crunch channel of the Marshall now for this particular test. Here we go, this is neck pickup on the Strat. <laughs> So that's a very simple delay tone. As soon as you start bringing in the chorus, things are going to get very, very different. All right. Let's crank up this. Turn up the feedback a little more. A little more chorus. One more time. Now I'm playing just slightly behind where that is coming back, so I'm gonna use the tap tempo. Here we go. Time to go crazy. Here we go. And now with everything cranked on the pedal, except for the chorus, we're gonna give it a little bit of self oscillation without it getting too carried away. I'm gonna start with my volume control down. Believe it or not, this will be the clean channel of the amplifier again, but because we've got it cranked, it's gonna sound pretty gnarly. Here we go. Volume down at about three quarters of the way off.
that's a little bit out of my wheelhouse, but there's some of the tones you can get out of the Project Diana. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane, a massive thank you to VS Audio for sending this out for the review, I really appreciate it, go check it out using the links in the description below. So overall you can get very different tones to your conventional tones that I would normally go for, so I tried to write something a little bit different for this intro track, and I tried to play a few different things to kind of showcase what it can do. Now, if you're used to delays that aren't quite your standard analog or clean digital delays, you're gonna get a kick out of this. It's not really something that I would use for my particular style of playing generally, but I really love some of the tones I was getting on the intro track. So if you're looking for something a little bit ambient, a little bit dark sounding, has a whole lot of mood to it, this would be a really great choice. Now, my only criticism about it is getting into some of the presets and all that kind of stuff can be a little tricky when you first get your hands on it, but after that, it's pretty simple. So thanks again to the guys for sending this out. Catch you on the next one. See ya.